Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Did you know that I also crochet? Some of you do because you asked me, how does a crocheter learn to knit? Well, let's do a little bit of that, shall we? I have a worsted weight yarn and I've got about, I'm gonna do about mm, a yard of yarn. And at that yard point, I'm going to make a slip knot. I have a video on how to make a slip knot in my micro lessons. I'm going to place a needle. This is a nice big fat size 13 US needle with my worsted weight yarn. I'm holding the cut end here to, um, and I'm doing a long tail cast on. So here is where the slip knot is up here. The cut end is around my thumb and I'm putting my index finger and thumb in between the two legs of the yarn as it comes down, splitting it across and holding it. So now this is tricky, but you can watch it again and again and you'll get it, I promise. So I will go under the thumb and then go up there and then back down. This is the long tail cast on. So here it is, it's like a slingshot. So I've brought it down. I'm going to go under the thumb over the one on the index finger and then back down through the thumb and then gently tighten. And I'm gonna do this a bunch of times. Please go ahead and watch it, make it slow-mo, pause it, do what you gotta do. But you'll get a bunch of these on your needle, your right hand needle. Okay, so I'm showing you one more time super slow. So I have it here now. Let me put myself further away from the camera. So I've got it here. Around my thumb is the cut end of the yarn. And around my index finger is the working yarn that's still attached to the ball. I'm pulling my needle hand all the way down towards my pinky so that it makes a slingshot looking thing. I'm going up, touching my thumb up through there. Now I'm going over here in between the index finger and then pulling it back down, touching my thumb there in between, and then letting go with my thumb, okay? So that's the process of the long tail cast on. In general, the rule of thumb is you want a piece of yarn, a tail of yarn, that's approximately three times the length of the piece that you're gonna do. We're just doing a small piece, and you can see where I let it go in retention a few times to show you, but that's okay. Um, as a crocheter, what I would then do is move, when I'm ready to work some stitches, move the live loops <laughs> onto the needle over here. Just I just moved it to the other hand. The um, twisted edge goes at the bottom of the needle. This is how I hold my yarn. So let's see if I have it right here. Sometimes it just seems like it's harder it's harder when you think about it than it is to actually do it. Okay, so I'm wrapping it around my little finger and then putting, how do I do that? I don't even think about it anymore. Okay, so I have it wrapped around my, my little finger and then up over my index finger and then I'm holding it here. I knit continental. So I tension with my um, non-hook hand. So for your crocheters who are learning how to um, to knit, you can hold your tension in the hand that does not hold the hook. So you're still tensioning in the hand that you always tension in when you crochet. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So to knit, knitting is also a verb. It's a noun, let's say a knit piece, but it's also a verb. And this, there is a knit stitch. The knit stitch is here. You insert the, the right needle through the back, this is what it looks like, okay? Then I am pulling it, pulling that strand through to the front, okay? Pulling it through to the front and then we pull it off. So the working yarn stays behind. I'm going to insert my new empty needle in my right hand, scoop up that yarn from the back and pull it through to the front and then off. So I'm moving these stitches one by one 
from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and I'm doing it continental knitting. So this is how the opposite of quote throwing. This is continental and these needles are very big for this yarn but I think it's easier to learn how to knit or crochet with bigger hooks and needles to begin with and then move down. So it is loose because this gauge is way loose for this yarn. So let's do it again slowly. Insert your needle down here at the bottom, right there. Push it through to the back. Scoop that yarn and you're pulling it through to the front. Once it's on there, you can let go of it off the back. Okay, that's what it looks like. If you ever get lost, the working yarn, it comes off the stitch you just made. So if you're not sure like what, where to insert the needle next, the working yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn is attached to the stitch that you just made, the done stitch. So you always know which stitch was done most recently. So that is my introduction to continental knitting for crocheters. I hope that you've liked this video. If you want to see more beginner elementary knitting videos for crocheters, please let me know. This is the last one of the row, so I'm just pulling off. And look, there's none left on this needle because they're all over here. So then I would just turn it like a book, like you're turning your crochet work and you would start anew. So if you like these beginner um, lessons for knitting for crocheters, please let me know. I wanna give a shout out to Darlene N, Pam F, and Kayla W. So please like and subscribe. Let me know if you are also a crocheter who knits. Take care, bye.